right, here's some strategies for lease option. There's two different kinds of lease option strategies. One is what I call a sandwich lease option, okay? And this is where the seller really needs to have some equity. I call it the big money lease option deal. So I'm here, I'm buying a property with a lease to own from a seller, the homeowner, and I'm selling it to a tenant buyer. The same property. One contract with them, one contract with them. Pro buyer, pro seller. I'm in the middle. Where's the meat in the sandwich? In the middle, right? So that's the best part of that sandwich is like putting yourself in the middle. So that's what a sandwich lease option is. The other one is called a cooperative lease option. Okay, and a cooperative lease option is where you're kind of cooperating and working with the homeowner. It's really a wholesale deal, but it's an option. So you get the seller who is willing to do a certain thing with the lease option, and then I find the intended buyer, I step out of the deal. And typically what I take on that is the option fee from the tenant buyer, which is typically three to 5% of the purchase price. So agents kind of like a commission. By putting them together, I'm out, right? I'm assigning my contract, I'm wholesaling that deal. That's still a pretty good deal. Now that's your quick, I call that a quick money strategy. You're in, you're out of that deal. For me, most of mine over the years always have been sandwich lease options, okay? I like the bigger deals. I like to have it over time. I like to structure it where I make, you know, option credits each month with the homeowner and build up a lot of equity before I sell it. If the deal's really juicy and it's got a lot of equity and I'm building up a lot of principal or reduction of the balance of what I owe the seller every month, I might just rent that to someone and not sell it or do an option yet. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm glad you asked. It's coming in two slides. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to actually go through numbers on both deals just to, because sometimes that helps with a real deal going through numbers of it, right? So really on a sandwich lease option, there's two contracts on the same house, right? You're in the middle. You have the buyer on the one side, the seller on the other side, the pro buyer, pro seller contracts. Cooperative, it's when you find the seller, you're in the middle of that deal and you assign the contract. It's a wholesale deal. You keep the option fee from the buyer. Now, of course, can that be more complex than that? Yes. There's way more things that we could cover on these type of deals. I'm giving you the high level because I got 90 minutes with you guys. I teach, I used to teach this for years, like for three, four days, going into all the detail and exactly, because there's way more you can do with this. I'm just, get, I'm just brushing it at a high level, okay? It's, it's uh, really a wholesale deal. Okay, we're gonna get to that example in a second. Okay, there's three basic parts of a lease option though. Okay, I call it the option agreement, the rental agreement, the lease, or the, and the sales contract, those three. There are more documents that I have my buyers and sellers sign. But these are the, the main part of a lease option. Now, you can roll them all into one, call it one lease option sale contract, or you could keep them separate. I have always kept them separate. Why? Especially with my tenant buyer, if I need to evict them or get them out, I want to go to court on a rental agreement or lease. I don't want that judge seeing all the other stuff. Oh yeah, they gave me 20 grand down and blah, 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 right? I want it to be separate. So I have always kept them separate for that reason, okay? And there's two sets of contracts for the lease options, for the sandwich lease options, right? The one for buying, one for selling. And for there's one set of contracts for cooperative because you're going in, it's just like an assignment. You're signing it and going out. Any wholesalers in the room? A couple wholesalers, okay. Yeah. So you'll know what I mean by that. 